Uh, very up with that now. Panic is sweeping across cities in France as infestation, infestations of bed bugs have reportedly soared in recent weeks. Yeah, you've got to prepare yourself for this because videos are circulating oh. on social media. <laughs> this is the Paris Metro, OK? And there are just bugs crawling around, also in hospital cinemas, even Charles de Gaulle Airport, which means they're ready to travel, which is really worrying, Josie. Yes, yeah, so and with fears uh, that the crisis could make his way to the UK, Professor James Logan is joining us with his tips for keeping the pests out of your home. Uh, thank you for joining us. When you see that, I just every single part yeah. of me tenses up. <laughs> um, First of all, you know, what is a, what were you seeing there? Was, the, was that a bed bug? What is a bed bug? Yeah, that's right. So bed bugs are insects and they're actually quite a bit bigger than a lot of people think. So when we think of bed bugs, we, we quite often think of dust mites, which are microscopic. But bed bugs and the adults, and you can see two adults here, actually, they're about the size of an apple pip. And they're sort of this sort of dark brown colour, especially after they've, they've fed them blood. When they're younger, they can be a bit smaller. So this one's had a good lunch here because oh, I yeah. can, you can see, see. He's, he's, he's eating a little blood. You can see the oh. blood inside. So it's going to digest the blood. <clears throat> and the reason they're, they're, I mean, they're a big problem for us because they feed on our blood and they need the blood to produce eggs so that they can reproduce and also to give them energy as well. <laughs> and once they've done that, each individual bug can lay hundreds of eggs. And you can actually see the eggs here. Look at this. Oh, so my these word. white things, these sort of oval things here, those are the eggs that will hatch out. So your infestation can go from one bug to thousands of bugs within a matter of weeks. Are they as big as a grain of rice, those little eggs? Oh, that's quite pretty. That's pretty. I'm not yeah. sure what that is. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's nice, it's not a bed bug. Uh, <laughs> it's a nice bug picture yet. that we've got. It's a lovely <laughs> picture. Um, but, no, they can, they can be big trouble. And what you can also see here, actually, is bed bug poo, because they poo everywhere, oh, and that poo has a distinct word. smell. It has a pheromone in it, which actually attracts other bed bugs. And we've actually developed a trap using that pheromone so you can actually uh, lure uh, bed bugs in. So those little grains, they look like grains of rice. Are they as big as a grain of rice? No, they're not. These they're are not. very, very small, very hard, uh, hard to see. But, you know, I mean, this is the sort of thing people are seeing in Paris at the moment. It is all over social media. But the thing that we have to remember is that bed bugs are pretty much everywhere. So they're here in London, they're in every city pretty much around the world. Um, people are worried about bringing them back from France. If France does have a bit of an outbreak at the moment, then we probably could bring them back. There is a possibility. How does that outbreak begin? Well, essentially, all it takes is one bed bug to hitchhike in your suitcase or on your clothes to a train, to your bedroom at home. And if it's pregnant and it's a female, it will lay eggs and that's how the infestation begins. So it's so easy. But there are things you can do. So if you're staying in a hotel, the first thing I would do, especially right now, is I would look at the reviews on, uh, you know, have a look on the internet at the reviews. If there's because... one from a bed bug going, loved my stay, <laughs> brought <laughs> yeah. the family over, well, exactly. 8,000 of them. Yeah. Exactly. Have a look at the reviews. Um, if you're in a hotel, keep your luggage off the ground. Keep it zipped up so they can't get in there. Check it before you leave. Uh, hang your clothes up. Don't leave them on the, on the floor um, because otherwise there's a good chance that you might take them home. And if you do take them home, there are some things that, that you can do as, as well. We've got some products here, actually. Which... Right. The, the, the worry is here, James, is that the Rugby World Cup's <coughs> going on in France at the moment. Oh, yeah. And there's a load of blokes who yeah. don't hang their clothes up and yeah. don't zip up cases <laughs> going over there and coming back home or bringing them all. And, and we just have this just in. And if you don't mind, we need verification from you. Right. Because this, and it's fresh in, has been spotted on the Victoria line, I believe, this morning. Um, so let's have a look at this. Can you confirm whether this is a bed bug or not? Uh, yeah, OK. So, oh, it's really hard to tell, actually, because it's quite blurry. So it's the right colour, possibly the right size for a bed bug. Its legs are kind of sticking out. So it, I think it might be some sort of beetle as opposed to a bed bug. OK, um, good. Let's call it a beetle. It's a beetle. <laughs> It's absolutely fine. Um, just, just on that, this is quite, quite a funny moment, though, because they, uh, over in France, the Rugby World Cup's going on, and one of the Ireland coaches, John Fogarty, was questioned at a press conference, yeah. are your players concerned about bed bugs? Uh, this is what he had to say. There's been an infestation of bed bugs in hotels in Paris. Have you been asked to take any precautions to check your bed before you get in them, or has that been done for you? No. A few lads fumigate their beds. Um, naturally, so th there's been no issues. You, you've, you've had nothing. Some of the front five. <laughs> the forwards are fumigating, self-fumigating. <laughs> yes, yes, I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> Very good. So there are other ways that you can fumigate by using stuff that, that kind of works. So if we look down here, we've got some, some products here. For example, this stuff here contains insecticide. So this is 
Um, there's a spray, there's a powder, and basically what you can do is you can spray it along the mattress. So bed bugs will be pretty much everywhere. They'll be in the seams of the mattress. They might be inside the mattress. They might be behind the skirting boards, etc. And you can spray this stuff uh, along here, which will help a little bit. Um, you can also use uh, other, other things like a steamer. That will actually kill them. However, they're, they're really, really hard to get rid of. So the best thing is to call a pest controller because those kind of things might help to curb the problem them initially but it's not gonna uh, get get rid of them there's some other stuff as well going around at the moment so rubbing alcohol gel now alcohol will kill any any insect uh, but it's really not advisable because if you put alcohol all over your bedroom it's extremely flammable it's not a good idea there's a lot of people saying to use that but that's not a good idea tea tree oil um, this is an essential oil it smells really nice there's some in this bottle here so again you can spray that along the bed Again, it doesn't really do very much. It might help to curb it a little bit, but they're going to come back. And unfortunately, the only thing you can do really to get rid of bed bugs is to call a pest controller. Oh, would you do a precautionary? Would you do, it, would you do that anyway, well, just in case? What, what I want to know is if I get to a hotel, what should I be looking for? What, what, what sh you know, is there anything, yeah. drop-ins or... Yeah, well, abs absolutely. So we saw on the screen a minute ago the, the bed bug poo. They do that on the bed sheets uh, and they'll do it also. I mean, they could be anywhere behind a, an electrical socket inside a TV, but you can spot those uh, little uh, brown sort of blood spots on the bed sheets often. If you're being bitten, there's a good chance there could be bed bugs uh, there, but they only come out at night mainly, so it's unlikely you'll be able to see them. Uh, and would you spray anyway, just in case they arrive as a precautionary uh, method? No, No, I, I wouldn't do that um, as a precaution, no. I would only do it if, if you know that you've got bed bugs. If you can see them and you think you've got bed bugs, perhaps buy some of that while you get the pest controller in, but get them in as soon as possible because they breed so quickly. And if it gets out of control, it's a nightmare to get rid of. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> oh, my um, God. Ooh. I just, I know it's, yeah, yeah it's in on you, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, still to...